To Illinois Field in Champaign, Manuka got here on the heels of a perfect game from pitcher Kevin Ruff, hoping for a similar performance from Josh Jimenez in the super sectional. UIC bound Ian Lewandowski on the hill for Central. Both pitchers dealing early top two, Joseph Carnaggio take a seed. Bottom half now, Jimenez using his defense throughout. Brian Sheeman pokes one to the right side, Nick Fleischauer makes the play. To the third, Red Hawk defense flashing the leather now. Nick Lopez in the six hole gobbles up Austin Polson's hot shot. He makes the toss to Jeff Shank, one out. After an Alex Babar single, Tyler Thorson following suit going opposite field, two on one out. Bases juice now with two away. Thomas Condon hits a dribbler down the line. Lewandowski fielding his position and making it look easy. Hawks out of the inning unscathed. Bottom half, Central with a base runner of its own on first. Shank taking advantage of the hole created as a result. Central with two on, one out. After a strikeout and a hit batsman, Lewandowski at the dish with the bases chock full. He sends a deep fly to right center, but Babar there to make the grab. We're still scoreless. But it wouldn't stay that way in the fourth. Maxwell Brozovich pokes one to Lopez's spot at short. His toss pulls Shank off the first base bag. Leadoff hitter on. Next up, Carson Neuschwander, he lays one down and chugs 90 feet up the line to make it aboard with a bunt single, Indians threatening. After a fly shower sack bunt, Polson gets one over the heart of the plate and makes the most of it, dropping the deep fly down behind Ross Murphy and left. Both runners come home, it's 2-0. Like a good boxer, Central knows how to counter punch. After a Sheeman leadoff single, Jimenez hangs a breaking ball. Cody Campbell gives it a ride over the right field wall. The two run dinger makes it a brand new ball game. But Manuka's bats stayed hot in the fifth. Brazovich continues the left field hit party for the orange and black, and Thorson jogs home to give the Indians the lead again 3 2. The extra base hits contagious. Three batters later, it's 4-2, and Carnaggio says, why not two more? He takes an outside pitch and deposits it into the right center gap. It's 6-2 after five innings. Red Hawk out dwindling down the stretch. Sheeman puts one up the middle with a runner on. Thorson there to turn the unassisted double play. Hawks would get one in the seven, but it's not enough. I honestly thought it was going to be a 1-0, 2-0, nothing, 2-1 two nothing, two game. I mean, but we came out, we just hit, we hit like crazy. We've been, our bats have been so high lately. And I mean, we came in with not even ranked in the state. Not even, we weren't even on the bubble. So, I mean, coming in without anyone expecting us to be here, it's huge. And I mean, fourth, we're number four, we're final four in the state right now. And it just, it feels great. Their kids made play after play behind them. And, um, you know, Jimenez was a salad. Um, what I had heard, and I had not seen him pitch in a couple of years, what I had heard was he had bouts with um, control issues, and we sure didn't see that tonight. So, uh, uh, you know, they uh, they did a lot of the same thing that we'd done up to this point during the postseason. You know, we, we shocked a lot of people, I'll be honest. Nobody expected us to get to that sectional title. I mean, nobody thought that was ours, but, you know, once the playoffs started, we knew we were going to get that. We thought we expected to go even further than this. You know, this wasn't supposed to be our stop, so, I mean, there's nothing you can do at this point, but you know we fought every day, and you know I'm proud of the entire team. During the playoffs, Ian and Jimmy definitely battled. Uh, they they basically carried us. They didn't really give up much. They didn't let anybody hit them hard until today, and and that that's what really carried us throughout the season too. And it, it was big. You know the legacy is maybe we're just keeping it up with the legacy that was set, but well before this year. And um, postseason play is a lot of fun when you're successful, and. Um, Hoping that's something that continues to happen. You know, you never know what could happen next year. You know, these kids, every single one of these, my teammates, you know, wanted it just as much as the other one. And I know all of them are just, just as mad as I am and ready to get out there next year. So, you know, big things are coming for them next year. You know, I feel just very fortunate to have coached these seniors in this situation. You know, um, the kids, the type of kid that we had, not alone, let alone the athlete, really uh, helped us out as a staff, as a first year staff, because we were new all the way around our staff. And um, having kids we can count on, like Ross Murphy and Ian Lewandowski, and you know some of the juniors too, and um, it it was a formula. We were in a position to succeed. Did I think necessarily we were going to get this far? No, but we hope to every year.